I just want to take a moment to say it takes someone of your caliber as a full-time job to convince the sales team to change in three months' time. And at the end of that three months, as you said, they're going to hate you. And you think about it like for companies like business owners or sales managers or people running existing companies, the amount of commitment it takes to make that happen. You know, I I don't want to gloss over it because I I know that in order, because we're always changing, always doing something different and, and, you know, moving forward, it takes so much energy and consciousness. And it's hard sometimes because, you know, there's always a problem, always distractions and other things. And I think that, you know, if if I was to coach someone who wanted to make change within their company, because without the change, nothing, if you don't change the sales reps mentality, because that's what it is. You can't just write numbers down or try to force them. Mm -hmm. I've seen people try to force them into change through a change in the commission schedule. Well, we're, Why won't it work? What will they do? Because well, there's more. There's more. There's more to it than just you know. I've, I've done surveys of sales guys. Of course, money's important to salespeople and everybody else. But right. But if you say if you talk, really really get underneath it, and I've done the I, you know I've done surveys with different sales teams. If you if you really look at what motivates a sales guy, it isn't the money. Of course, the money the money is the way it keeps the score on the door. That's all the money is. What really motivates it? You talk to your top sales guys, and and you uh, you get underneath. You ask them how they do it. They, at first of all, they can't tell you uh, because. They, they, they know what they do it'll be because it's that there's something about in the sale we're all crazy in the sales world so otherwise right. we wouldn't be in this business right. the, but there's something about the the passion the motivation the that sheer joy you get you know we've always you know you're here for one day that day when you hit right. your number at the end of the month or at the end of the quarter at the end of the year you think whoa don't I feel good at that moment and then and there's something about that 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 is the driver I think of, of so the, the emotive drive the emotional driver for salespeople people sales guys they like athletes. They want. They want to perform. They want to be. Got to be really successful at what they do. They want to do it better and better and better and better. And I've never yet really found many salespeople. Once you get underneath it, that aren't, that, that aren't like that. You know, they they want to. They want to be better at what they do. And so, if you can show them, you know, you can't say I want to go. I want you to go from A to Z in one in one step because right. you know that's too too big a leap. They can't take that in. But you can say, I tell you what, let me just take you to A to C. Let's see what we're going to do to get there. And so, little steps that they, and then they see, they get a result. Yeah. They think, oh wow, yeah, that's right. 